Hello and welcome everyone to this webinar. In this session today, I will show you how you can increase the efficiency of your corporations with external developers. In today's world, it is quite common for companies to outsource their technical development for SAP BI applications, especially then when developers are not available on the job market, for example. But outsourcing your SAP development also means that some kind of quality assurance is needed. Whatever is developed externally needs to be reviewed and officially accepted internally. This is where the documentation comes into play. To make the cooperation and acceptance of the development easier, an official documentation can be useful. However, documentation work usually comes along with high manual effort and therefore high manual costs. But this doesn't need to be the case. And today I will show you why. My name is Malte Haring. I'm product owner at Blue Intelligence, and I have the pleasure to walk you through today's webinar. Let's first of all, have a look at the agenda. I prepared a use case for you in which I will show you a common situation with external developers. And we will talk about the challenges coming with this situation. Afterwards, I will show you our solution to address these challenges. And at the end, we will talk about possibilities to test our software. Okay, let's start. Our problem, the inefficient review of the development. Imagine the following situation. We have two persons, Martin and Steffen, which are both working for a pharmaceutical company, which is international. Martin on his side is working for the purchasing department and responsible for the reporting. Stefan on the counter side is BI project manager and is responsible that Martin gets all the reports which he would like to use to analyze the purchasing data. And now Martin has a request. He would like to have an additional report, a new query in which he can analyze various delivery KPIs per vendor. And with this request, he comes to Stefan who is responsible that this report gets developed. As I already said, the company is outsourcing the development to an external service provider. And in this case, James is responsible for the development of this query. Let's talk about the challenges. So Martin and Stefan agree on the specification of this query. And together they design a set card, which is defining what the query should look like and how it should be built up. And this information with a set card gets to James via a Jira ticket and James then needs to start his development. Now we have the situation that Stefan and Martin somehow want to accept the implementation of James in an official way. So they somehow need some kind of documentation to see if the work of James was correct and if everything got implemented as wanted. And with this re requirement, we have uh, certain challenges coming up. From Martin's side, Martin needs a document to review the development from business perspective. And he would like to have an easy to understand documentation of the query with a low level of detail and the language should be German. Stefan, on the other side, needs a technical review of the implementation. So his documentation needs to be quite detailed. He would like to have the documentation in English for official purposes, and he will use this documentation as an official document for the acceptance of the development. And he needs it quite soon, so he doesn't want to wait for it years. And this now is very challenging for James because James needs to create this documentation, which is usually super time consuming because there is no standard solution from SAP, which is speeding up the process of documenting technical developments. He somehow needs to address the compliance with the documentation standards. So he doesn't really know how the documentation should look like, what should be in the documentation and so on. For this situation, he would actually need to create two different documentations of the query, one with less details in German, easy to understand for Martin and the other one quite technical, high detailed for Steffen. And another problem is, let's imagine James is creating such a documentation and the technical object, the query is changing over the time. Then this documentation gets out of date quite soon and is worthless. Okay, 
let's jump into the situation, how it will look like when James started the development. Let's first of all have a look at the JIRA ticket. The company is working with JIRA, so James received the JIRA ticket in which he got all the necessary details which he needed to develop the query. And attached to this JIRA ticket, he also had a set card from Steffen who described the query in detail. So here he had all the specifications and so on to build the query. Let's jump to Eclipse to see what kind of query James built. So this is now the query we imagine James finished building. And if you imagine now what James would need to do to document this query, he would actually need to create a Word file. He would maybe do some screenshots of the settings. So he would make a screenshot of the filter values. He would make a screenshot of the KPIs included, of the rows and elements in the rows and in the columns. He would make a screenshot of the variables which are used. But putting all these screenshots in a Word document is quite useless because you cannot really search for keywords in this documentation. It's not comparable to other documentations. So this kind of documentation would be worthless. And now I will show you how our solution, the Docker Performer, will help you in achieving a well-done documentation of this work. So James, of course, knows the Docker Performer already and opens the application after his development. Since he synchronized the BW system, whether he built the query, the query is available here in the Docker Performer. And he can search for it via uh, certain filters. So let's search for the query that James built. Here we have it. And what he can do first of all is he can enrich this query with knowledge he has due to the development that he did. For this, he can create a so-called comment for this object, which is then attached to this object and centrally saved. Let's have a look at this comment. You can see the comment is structured in certain chapters. So we have one chapter general information. We have one chapter which is describing the objective of the query. We have business aspects, special logics, and so on. And now James can add his own knowledge to the query by simply writing some text to the query. I prepared something here in Word and let's first of all copy this sentence, for example, to a chapter and save it. Let's also add some special logic description here. So here we have it in English. Okay, looks good. And then let's do the same for the German part of the comment. So as you can see here, we are allowing you to maintain your comments in several languages. And since Martin wants his documentation in German, James will also add some aspects to the comment which are in German. First of all, the business aspects, and then one more time, the special logic described in German. Here we go. And this knowledge is now centrally saved at this query and will later on, as you will see, be added to the technical documentation of the query. Let's close this for now. Here we go. And now I will show you how James can easily create a documentation of this report. He therefore simply selects the context menu and uses the option create documentation. And here you can see James can select different file formats to create this documentation. Before he does so, he can do certain settings. First of all, he can select the level of detail which the technical documentation should have. If we select, for example, here an IT standard documentation, then the technical detail is quite huge. So let's first of all, for example, create the documentation for Steffen who requested uh, quite a high detail. Then we will select that the comment will be included. The comment language in this case will be English because Stefan requested English and the documentation language itself of the technical documentation will also be English. Now let's start the documentation. 
So with just one click, the Docker Performer creates now a PDF file, which is containing all the relevant information about the query, which James usually would have to add manually to a Word file, for example. Okay, the Docker Performer finished the creation of the documentation, and now I can access it directly. As you can see, the tool already had a nice layout. So we offer you the possibility to add Word templates to your documentation to, to meet your corporate design standards. And now let's have a look at the content. First of all, you can see the table of content was created automatically. We have a comment in our documentation. This is the information that was written to the query via the comment. So we have our chapter general information, our target group chapter, and so on. And now we have query properties. Um, and we have quite uh, detailed query properties, as you can see. We have the system where the query lies. We have the info provider on which the query is based. We have the uh, user who created the query. And further detailed information, let's scroll a little further. You can see we have all the variables which are used in the query listed with their technical details. We have our calculated key figures with their technical settings and also the formula resolved. Um, the same counts also for restricted key figures. So restricted key figures are shown with their, with their filters. We have our three characteristics listed with our technical settings, and we have our elements in the rows and in the columns. Also here, we have our filters shown. So this is the super detailed technical doc documentation for Steffen, for example. Now let's create another one for Martin, less detail in German and only the comments which are relevant to Martin. Okay, therefore I go back to my documentation and I select now different settings. This time I select the settings for my business standard documentation. By this, the details in the documentation itself changes. I will show you later how this works. And then we have the comment variant, which is deciding which comments are relevant for our documentation. We have our languages. Now let's choose our German language for Martin and also the comment language in German for Martin. And I create another documentation. Let's again go for a PDF because it's quite a useful format if it's an official document for the acceptance. The tool again goes into the system, selects all the technical details and formats it right away into the PDF file without any manual effort at this point. Let's open this documentation. We can see, okay, the first page looks the same. However, here we can already see that the documentation is a little different than before. The query details, uh, the properties are not so detailed anymore. We simply have the system, technical name, and the provider. The variables are simply listed with their technical name and description, so no detailed information about the settings anymore. We have our calculated uh, key figures without their technical settings, but still the formula resolved. We have our filters, which are showing the variables used. And we have our free characteristics simply listed for Martin, not important what the technical um, detail settings are. And we have our elements in rows and columns. Okay, so as you can see, I now created very fast two different kinds of documentations, which James can now use to show to Martin and Stephen that he properly implemented the requested query. Let's have a look at the JIRA ticket. Now let's attach our two, our two created documents to this ticket. Here we go. I take these two. We add it to the JIRA ticket and the process gets clicked to done. James is finished with his development and the documentation. And now Stefan and Martin can review the implementation by via the documentation and test the implementation technically. Okay, 
So now let's imagine some time has passed and Martin knows to notices that one variable in the query is not really fitting his needs. And he is creating a change request and James again needs to change the query, the variable in the query to meet the requirements from Martin. In this case, James goes into Eclipse, he opens the query, goes to the filter settings, and let's, for example, imagine that the change request was to replace this variable with another one. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to remove this variable and I'm going to use another one to meet the requirements of Martin. I select this, save the check technical change. And at this point, with the manual documentation, James would need to manually adjust his previously created documentation very inconveniently. With Document Performer, however, he can now simply go back into the system and create, again, one more documentation for Martin. So he creates one more time a PDF file. The tool goes live into the system, will read the current settings of the query and will identify that the variable has changed. So let's have a look. Let's scroll to the variables and we can see that zero Cisco plant was replaced by Z Cisco plant. So it's that easy to update the documentation in case of technical changes. Okay, let's jump back to our presentation. What did we learn so far? So it is not really necessary to manually document the implementation by James. This high manual effort can be replaced by an automatic solution, the docu performer, which is giving you the following advantages. First of all, you have an efficient and accurate review um, document. So Martin and Stefan are quite happy. They can check in the document if all the requirements were correctly implemented. There is no need to verify in the SAP backend system. So Martin, for example, doesn't really have an access to the backend system and therefore is happy to have a document on which you can check the implementation. It is easy to, to apply one document standard for internal and external purposes. So everyone always gets the same kind of structure in the documentations. And we have the possibility to change the level of details in the documentations without even creating another document. And by this a whole setting, the project is done much faster and with a lower budget and the time schedule can be kept in. Okay, this is all regarding the used case. Now your option to use a free trial. Feel free to contact us if you would like to try DocuPerformer yourself. You get the option to test it for 30 days and you have no cost and obligations. And we would be happy if you yeah, simply write us an email or call us. That's it for now. Thanks for your attention and see you soon in one of our other webinars. Bye-bye.